Hey, welcome back to the Trail Tech Shop. One of the modern marvels of ATVs is the CVT belt. It's often overlooked, but if you think about it, this is the backbone of an ATV, and without it, we ain't going nowhere. One day, your CVT belt will grenade, explode, blow up, pop, and shred into a million little chiclet-sized pieces of rubber inside your clutch cover. It's inevitable, but you can drastically increase the time between replacement by choosing to use a high-quality CVT belt. We decided to change the belt on our 2010 Can-Am Renegade XXC because it's a huge horsepower ATV that relies on the belt to keep the forward momentum going. And we don't want anything getting in the way of that. If you think trailside belt changes are easy, think again. Most ATVs require multiple tools and an hour plus time to swap out a belt. And that's if everything goes well. When you're out in the back 40, up to the exhaust and mud, the last thing you've got time for, or tools for, is a belt change. For our Renegade, we wanted a belt that was designed for high-performance, high-horsepower ATVs, and Daco's XTX line fit the build perfectly. The first step for changing your belt is to get the belt cover out of the way. Now, depending on your ATV, this may take a few extra steps and you might have to remove some body panels so that you can get to the bolts that hold that belt cover on. Our Renegade is pretty easy to work on and the belt cover is right out in the open. Take out all the bolts and remove the cover being careful to not damage the gasket that keeps water out of your transmission. Deco manufactures belts for almost every ATV ever produced and is sure to have the right product to fit your ATV. The XTX CVT belt is designed to handle the abuse and strain aggressive riders put on their CVT transmissions and comes with a one-year warranty. Our next step is to remove the belt, but before we do this, we want to make sure that the ignition and the kill switch are both in the off position. Then we can go ahead and start manipulating the clutches. You may or may not be able to get the belt off without removing one of the clutches. In this case, we were able to pry the belt over the edge of the clutch and roll the ATV backwards to release the belt entirely. At this halfway point, you should inspect your clutches and make sure that everything is clean and intact. If it's dirty, you should wipe it down with a mild solvent and a nice clean rag. Take a rag and a mild solvent and work around the inside sheaths of the clutches. Be sure you do this in a well-ventilated area and re-wet the rag in a clean area when you see it getting dirty. For reinstallation of the belt, we're going to put it around the primary first, then we're going to work it around the top sheave of the secondary. After that, we're putting the clutch cover on. You're probably going to have to roll the vehicle backwards to get it to go over the clutch, but with enough work, it will go on. Worst case, you'll pop the clutch off and seat the belt over the secondary. Take the cover and fit it back in place with all the required bolts. While this seems to be an obvious update for your ATV, it's almost always overlooked until it's too late. And trust me on this one, this is one lesson you do not want to learn the hard way.